query string definition and example collection of characters to a web browser it's used to transfer a value from one page to another it's appended to the page url you can use more than one query string but it can't be allowed to send very long data question marks used at beginning of the query string and ampersand at subsequent query string this is the page one first name and last name place query string the first name and last name will go for the query string in the second page start visual studio go to the solution explorer right click and add new item page one yes i'm gonna two page now to show query string from one page to another i just transferred value from one page to another the query string in that case i am adding two page first page is page one and second page is, i just named it as uh, page two in the first step first page i am designing with two label control and two text box control in the first uh, label control okay I am just change the text of this label control. Text box control is text box one and text box two. In the second page, it's uh, now it's, uh, I am gonna add label control. First label, I just change the text of this label as full name and in this level i will load the data the query string the label name is lbl name and text is blank okay lbl name for the first page page one then the text of this level one as first name and second level is last name okay text box one text box two now add button control after clicking the button uh, the first name and last name text box one value and text box two value will transfer to the page two the query string i'm just showing it say continue if you like this video please share you can have more video about it about the ccwsp.net in this channel okay go to the click uh, button click event just write response dot redirect page two dot aspx when you click this button in the page one it will go to the uh, page two now I'm, i am adding query string first name question mark in the first query string before starting the first query string you should use question mark tag first name equal to tag box one dot text which value you just entered in the text box one uh, as first name it will uh, be the first name and last name ampersand i already mentioned that ampersand in the second query string if you add multiple query string you should add uh, ampersand last name equal to text box two dot text now just uh, go to the page to uh, load event call that query string lbl name dot text equal to just write this code request dot query string yes now call that query string the query string is first name and last name This is first name request dot query string last name. Okay, you can use this variable as well. View in browser. Yes. Oh yes. Now first name is Swift, last name is Learn. Swift Learn. Yes, but it's without uh, Added without a space. Yes, first name equal to Swift and last name equal to Learn. You can see in the URL it's added uh, as query string. But without space. To add space, just 
use space first name last name just add a space here this is c-sharp syntax you can highly understand about it though you understand but I am showing you first name last name yes now it's uh, showing as a sp with a space okay you can use index uh, instead of uh, name questing name 0 1 you in browser okay first name last name yes if you use index it will show this is uh, this is a simple process yeah you can also use server dot url decode or url encode you can encode it and uh, you can decode it